What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a makeup tutorial or makeup look using some new bits that I've gotten in the past week or several months. And my background's kind of different because I rearranged my room so you'll probably be seeing this pretty plain white closet for a while. So let's get started. I already have my lotion on. I'm using Olay and I'm just gonna go right into the foundation which is the first new item that I have it is the ordinary I have both the high coverage and the serum foundation and I love them both for different reasons the serum one since it's the lighter coverage I wear during the week and this one the high coverage one I wear on the weekends so let's just get started I love this foundation because it's very watery it's very spreadable it's what they call viscous right but um there's so much pigment in the formula that it really does give you good coverage it's so easy to blend out and i think this shade is the perfect match for me what color is this 2.0 n so let's just do this even though it says high coverage i don't think it's cakey and it doesn't crease up around my expression lines here and on my forehead very comfortable to wear and I think it looks good all day the regular or the serum foundation one the lightweight one I feel like I can just blend that with the dry blue beauty blender which I have done and it still spreads so easily and nicely and there you go gonna go in with something not so new ColourPop concealer just for the under eyes and the nose Ooh, looking dewy. Okay, next is to set. I have the Too Faced Peach Blur Powder. This one is a compact powder. And even though I have the Too Faced uh, Loose Powder, I wanted this for traveling because so it's easier. And I've been using this for a while and I know it's supposed to like blur your face and you know, minimize your pores. I don't really see that, but I do like using it as a setting powder. I think it, um, use my face mat but the thing is with this I feel like I have to swirl it in a couple times and it doesn't all the powder doesn't lift up like a lot of other compacts do which is nice it doesn't get messy gonna go in with the brows and I'm still using the same Tony Moly brow pencil I love this one and then I go in with Colourpop's brow boss pencil in blonde just for the front and you guys know that I usually do warmer tones on my eyes or lots of pinks, but I've started to use some more grays and silvers just because it's the winter time and you know I really needed to try something different. So the first item that I'll be using is ColourPop's new shadow. Let me show you guys. It is this one. This one is called Snake Eyes. It's super shimmery and they describe it as a pink and purple, pink, purple, no, pink taupe shimmer or something like that i don't know but i like this color all over my eyes and then i'll go in with my naked three palette you guys know i love this palette and i've been using this color right here and it is called mugshot it's like a silvery it's a more taupey brown color i take a little bit of that and just put it in the crease very lightly take some under the eyes I haven't been wearing much um, eyeliner lately, but um, I've just been using the last two colors here since they're the darkest one in the palette, kind of mixing them and using them as um, a liner. So that's what I'll be doing. And for the lashes, I normally don't really do anything with my lashes except put some mascara on it. But another new item that I got is the Dior Maximizer uh, Lash Primer. So I went to a Dior class a few weeks back or months and they, this was one of the products that they allowed us to use. I was so impressed because even though we didn't curl our lashes, the wand for this thing, it looks like it kind of helps curl the lashes for you. It's pretty crazy. I don't know if you can see. Hold on one second. There. The wand is kind of, this brush kind of spirals. So I was told that that brush really helps um, kind of curl the lashes without actually curling it. I wish I had a waterproof mascara to help kind of keep this lift and curl but i'm just gonna go in with the Too faced better than sex mascara this one is new to me but it's a little sample and 
I like it, but I think I buy the waterproof formula because this one, it does smudge the under eye a little bit at the end of the day, but it does really lengthen and give a lot of volume to your lashes. Look at that. Look at that. No curl, nothing. My short little Asian lashes. Okay, next thing is the cheeks. Again, this is another kind of sample item. I didn't buy this, but this was in Sephora's um, birthday thing, birthday little gift. And this is Tarte's blush in Parte. Pa Parte. Three A's. I love this blush. It's a matte blush and it looks so natural. I've been wearing it almost every day since I've gotten it in September. I'm gonna do the ever so slightest contouring and bronzing with ColourPop Afternoon Delight. This is just to give me back some color. I'm going to highlight with ColourPop palette. I keep forgetting what this is called. Oh my god, it's the duo, so I'll link it down below, but I don't remember what it's called. I love the highlight in this though. It's oh my god, look at that, see? one of my favorites and this palette is so affordable but you get so much product I don't think I'm ever gonna come close to finishing this okay and the last new bit is of course the lips I wanted something more appropriate for the fall so I got this color I was looking for maybe like a berry stain type color and um to achieve kind of the stain with the ultra matte lip, I've been using my fingers to just pat it in as opposed to just swiping it. And this one is in the color Tool. I actually wanted to buy NARS's uh, Do Me Baby lip pencil, but that one's 20 something dollars and I really couldn't get myself to buy it. So I looked up for dupes and this one was one of the dupes. Using your fingers could be a little messy and the edges can be kind of hard to work with but I wanted more of that faded look so I put a little bit more toward the center and faded it out into the lip line I hope you guys enjoyed the look I know it's a simple look but I've really been enjoying all the products that I use and of course I'll link everything down below I love this lip color <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye